it turns out that I had a blood clot. <laughs> a big <laughs> blood clot in the back of my throat. And it's like, oh yeah, I wonder why I've been like literally crying myself to sleep for the last three days. Hmm. Hello. I actually really only have probably like 20-ish minutes to get ready. Um, I got really tied up into some client work, so let's do this. Sunscreen obviously is a must. It's really sunny today and we are rejoicing for that. Living in Michigan, the winters, oh my god, like you'll go for weeks without seeing the sun and it's like you forget that you're human. I was telling my boyfriend this morning like, wow. It makes me feel like a different person. <laughs> it's crazy, crazy, crazy. A lot has happened. Got my tonsils removed on the 18th. Literally exactly two weeks ago as I'm filming this. My voice may sound a little bit funny. I can't tell if it actually does or if it's just in my head. Or if it's actually literally in my head because my ears are messed up. <laughs> the healing process has been crazy. But I'm finally on the up and up. So like, I did have to go to the emergency room for some complications that I was having. Uh, over the weekend and that was really scary because the surgery is actually like has a moderate risk as an adult and uh, I think they said like if you're over 15 like it's one of the hardest surgeries to have as an adult so you know been dealing with that I think I'm very optimistic so going into it I wasn't like super concerned I need to move my mirror over here so I can like look at myself and still look at you guys going into it like everyone warned me they were like take the full two weeks off work like you're gonna need it i was like yeah 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 okay um thinking i'm like freaking superhuman or something mentally i was like i give myself like a good five days of like misery like yeah it's gonna be an intense recovery but for those five days like i'll be out of office and then i'll be you know back at it might be a little tired might be a little slower because i could be in pain but, you know, I'm gonna be fine. In fact, it was not fine. The recovery was so intense and my pain was so bad that I, and I ran out of the pain meds that I was supposed to have. I guess this is just gonna be immediately a story time because I'm also going to get tattooed later so you guys are gonna come with me, but anyway. For literally three days, because it was this back and forth with my doctor because it's like really hard to get a refill or like you know more um, of my pain meds because they're narcotics and there's like all these laws about prescribing them and blah 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 so for three whole days and then when my pharmacy finally got the prescription they were out of it so they had to order it and it was like a whole mess so three whole days I was without pain med like the intent the good pain meds that I needed I literally just cried for three days like cried myself to sleep it was so painful and come to find out a few days later after I finally did get the pain meds I had to go to the emergency room because I was having really scary bleeding I was told if you are bleeding if you are bleeding from your mouth or throat like you need to go to the emergency room right away like do not question it just go because it can be fatal so of course I am freaking the f because my boyfriend who would be like my you know main person he's been my main caregiver through all of this he had just got his wisdom teeth taken out the day before so don't recommend scheduling like a surgery or a procedure even if it's like a week after and you think your person's gonna be fine like just play it on the safe side if you guys are like helping take care of each other because um, yeah, so I had to like have a friend help me because my parents were unavailable. Then eventually um, his mom helped take me to the ER and because I had to go like all the way downtown to a different ER to where the resident was that had like helped with my surgery. It was like a whole thing. And it turns out that I had a blood clot. <laughs> a big <laughs> blood clot in the back of my throat and it's like oh yeah i wonder why i've been like literally crying myself to sleep for the last three days hmm. they had to remove it like out of my throat it was the weirdest grossest thing 
ever and I almost passed out. It was so disgusting and felt so weird, but they got rid of it. That was the last day I had to take the intense pain meds because I did a total 180, like a total 180. <laughs> Who would have guessed that when you get a blood clot removed, it will change your life. So that's what happened and now I'm finally, finally, finally like back in society. I feel so happy to be here. <laughs> so relieved. I don't even know what I'm doing with my makeup today guys. I just, I'm kind of winging it. I just need to hurry the fuck up. So I've been finally like taking client meetings yesterday and I did a group coaching call. Like I'm back in the saddle and things are doing well. I still am like on moderate pain meds but it's really, it's just like Tylenol and Motrin that I'm going back and forth with. But my doctor did advise me to stopped the Motrin yesterday for the purpose of going to my tattoo appointment. I guess it has something to do with your blood and like bleeding and stuff. That is where we're at with our lives. It is so crazy though because for the last two weeks like I haven't obviously worked out or gone to the gym and I'm not allowed to lift anything heavy for another week still which I am not gonna chance that shit because of what happened already and like I wasn't even doing anything. They just said oh yeah like you could have been unlucky like they don't even know the cause of it really but that's scary, like I don't want that to happen again. So yeah, so that is my life and that is what has been going on. I feel so disconnected really from my life and like from my body. I have been, you know, obviously just like consuming a lot of content. I haven't been able to create things. And yesterday I did like a full face of makeup for the first time and what well, feels like forever. <laughs> it's funny cause like I had to give my boyfriend my ID to go get my prescription and I like looked at it and almost started crying and I was like pointing at it like that's me this is what I look like like on the ID because I just did not have not felt like myself there was also a ton of swelling and I mean that's obvious I know that but like I just didn't look or feel like myself and it had been just a very intense recovery like still is you know to be able to like at least look like myself even if I don't feel like myself it's been really <laughs> nice so I've been enjoying like glam and I'm happy that I'm able to like film this today and just you know feel cute and like pulled together at least and today's gonna be really fun because like tattooing you know I haven't had any tattoos and over a year. I actually don't know. I'll have to look like when my last tattoo video was, but it's been way too long. And I hereby declare this year, 2023, is the year of more art. And I really want to schedule more appointments in advance and like let the ideas come through because I have so many ideas. Today I have like a few things in mind. I have like three or four like little pieces that I want to do. <sighs> That's not too bad. This wing is a little jank because she got really dried out and it's not very sharp, but you know what? We're going to work with it. <laughs> also, I don't know what my hair is even doing. I think it's like falling out of the clippy. That is my little story time about surviving and now thriving. And it's really interesting actually. I feel like I've had so many like epiphany aha moments in my healing process. Like I've learned a lot about myself. The other thing too that came up was like obviously getting rid of my tonsils. It's they had to go. Like they the doctor said they were and I quote huge and full of tonsil stones <laughs> which I didn't even know I had any at the time so that just tells you how big and like inflamed they were. And I guess they can rate them on a scale of like one to four I think it is. Correct me if I'm wrong if you know about this but Mine were three. Even looking at my throat, I was just telling my friend Amanda this, like, is actually shocking because I didn't know that there was that much, supposed to be that much space back there. Like, my throat looks huge to me, like a huge opening. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay, so this is how the Gorleys are getting by in life, like actually getting oxygen in and such. You know, it'll be so nice to like fully breathe when I'm done swelling and feeling like there's a lot 
of positive to this ultimately it's going to really improve my quality of life and you know it's going to be gosh I keep putting little cat hairs on me it's going to be for the better obviously I was as I was saying I feel like I'm like purging sort of like things that don't serve me energetically and with my tonsils like now that they're gone like they were not serving me they were harming me and sometimes you do have to like slow down and really take care of yourself and prioritize your health and wellness over work and business and and progress in other areas and i know that like the comeback is going to be really worth it it's nice because i feel like i went through this like energetic cleanse i'm thinking of doing like a separate video just like really detailing my experience with getting my tonsils removed for those who are interested because something i did like before getting them removed is like binge a ton of other people's vlogs of like their experience so i think it'll be nice to share because there are a lot of unexpected things that i experienced obviously the complications but also some other side effects that like i was not warned about being a possibility that i'm actually experiencing right now for example i have totally well not a hundred percent but like almost completely lost my taste i can taste maybe 20 percent of what i used to be able to which is like actually insane to think about <laughs> i guess apparently it can sometimes be permanent so that is really sad if that's <laughs> if that's my fate like i've accepted it but at the same time i'm like damn like they could have warned a bitch but apparently it's like really a rare side effect so I can understand like why they would not necessarily feel the need to tell me because it obviously doesn't happen to most people and of course it would happen to you girl so I'm gonna um, finish my glam and then come back because I'm stressing out and I really have to get ready it's been almost 20 minutes now so I'm gonna do my brows do my like lips and stuff and then um I'll chat with you guys in a sec okay hello we are here obviously my glam is done and I had to get in the car super fast but yeah guys we just got here i'm so excited i've never been to this location before i'm really really so happy and proud of michaela and if you guys have watched my tattoo vlogs over the years you'll know that i have been a loyal constituent <laughs> i don't even know if that's the right word but i've followed her all over the place because i just love her so much and i love her work um so she finally opened her own place and i'm so proud and happy for her and I'm very excited to see it. So I brought some snacks because I didn't really have time to eat. So I was thinking maybe while she's like prepping stuff, I can eat that. And um, I brought like a Gatorade and I'm still technically on a soft diet. So I'm kind of limited in what I can eat. But yeah, it was a smooth hour and 20 minutes-ish to get here. I'm back in my old stomping grounds <laughs> of college here in East Lansing. So nostalgic because she's in Eastwood Town Center, which like if you're from the area, you know, there's like so many, you know, key shops and places around this little spot. Very exciting. And let's go inside and see her. Yay. <laughs> Take it away, take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget, but you won't let me. Something in my brain won't you. I've been hanging by myself. Large order, tall order for me, but I'll do my best. <laughs>
was back when that cut didn't feel great. Let's definitely over two weeks actually <laughs> since my appointment normally I know I check in and tell you guys about like the healing process and aftercare and all of that fun stuff so I will definitely share a little bit about that now and of course show you the updated tattoos love how everything came out and healed I will say my wrist did get a little bit dry and I think it's just because we're in such harsh Michigan winter right now um, like there was definitely a few days where it was in single digits and that's without the wind chill um, and because I have dogs and I have to take them outside all the time I think what happened was I just didn't fully keep it moisturized it still looks really good of course I'll show you but I definitely do plan on going in for a little bit of a touch-up and I I recognize that that's like on me it's not even on Michaela. so usually for aftercare I will use some sort of foam soap it needs to be antibacterial and unscented um so i'll put a picture up here of the type that i like to use and then i also use hustle butter and it's just something i've used ever since i've started getting tattoos michaela has recommended it to me and i love it for aftercare so um again here's a photo of that as well and you can get this on amazon you can get it um, at ulta although i do think ulta might upcharge for it like a smidge <laughs> So keep that in mind. If you're like me and you are getting tatted often, I just usually buy the big thing of it so you'll save more money. Of course, I also like to talk about kind of the meaning behind them. So 1111 is just a really special angel number to me and it holds a lot of different meanings. Um, so, you know, everything can mean something different to every other person. <laughs> Here is the 1111. 
it's probably backwards I'm guessing for you guys um sorry about that but I am filming this last part on my phone because my camera is charging from a different video but here is the lucky heart I think it turned out so cute too it had some things to do with lucky girl syndrome but that kind of came on at the end but I had just had this in my mind like lucky in the shape of a heart I don't know it just kind of came to me I really like how it turned out I think it's very cute it's very like pop art girly vibes and then of course my birth year back here um it it actually i think is the most meaningful of all of them arguably or maybe depending on the day because i mean that's the year that my soul chose to come back to this earth i don't know how much um you guys believe in like past lives or reincarnation um, or just sort of like the soul's journey, right? But no matter what, I think the year that you're born is really special. And I love the fact that I decided to get it on my neck because I think that's something kind of anarchist <laughs> in terms of, you know, being a woman. Like so often we have been told this idea that like we have an expiration date. Like when I was growing up, it was like if you turn 30, like your life was over. And now like thankfully i think that's changing a lot but even still to this day i think a lot of times like outside you know influences of society will try to push women this narrative that like after 40 like you're might as well be dried up and dead you know and it's like <laughs> it couldn't be farther from the truth like women are magical beings and we can exist and evolve and flourish and create in all stages of life so i love that i have um, you know, just the year that's really special to me and symbolizes like when my soul chose to, to come here and sort of the debut of me in this lifetime. And it kind of like brings me back to remembering my why of life too, um, which I think is really special. So there's the stories on the tattoos <laughs> and um, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It's definitely been a while since I did a tattoo vlog. And I already have my next appointment scheduled in April with Michaela, so I will be sure to bring you guys along to that as well. I know um, a lot of you really like these, so let me know if you have any questions about any of the pieces, if you have questions about tattoos in general. Also, let me know if you are part of the official neck tat club. <laughs> I feel so silly saying that, but I do really feel like a badass for it, so anyway. Thanks so much for watching. I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video.